Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we are going to look at the role of Code Manager in Puppet File and how Code Manager automates the management and deployment of your new Puppet code. Code Manager automates the management and deployment of your Puppet code. Push code updates to your source control repo, and then Puppet syncs the code to your masters. So that all your servers start running the new code at the same time, without interrupting agent runs. Code Manager uses R10K on the file sync service to stage, commit, and sync your code, automatically managing your environments and modules. First, you'll create a control repository with branches for each environment that you want to create, such as production, development, or testing. You'll also create a puppet file for each of your environments, specifying exactly which modules to install in each environment. This allows Code Manager to create directory environments, based on the branches you've set up. When you push code to your control repo, you'll trigger Code Manager to pull the new code into a staging code directory, slash etc slash puppet lab slash code staging file sync then picks up those changes pauses puppet server to avoid conflicts and then syncs the new code to the live code directories on your masters to sync your code across multiple masters and to make sure that code stays consistent code manager relies on file sync and two different code directories the staging directory and the live code directory. Without Code Manager or File Sync, Puppet code lives in the code or live code directory, at slash etc slash puppet lab slash code module. But the File Sync service looks for code in a code staging directory, slash etc slash puppet lab slash code staging, and then syncs that to the live code dear module. This means you can no longer write code to the code there instead, Code Manager moves new code from source control into the staging directory, and then File Sync moves it into the live code directory. Don't directly modify code in the staging directory. Code Manager overwrites it with updates from the control repo. Similarly, don't modify code in the live code directory, because file sync overwrites that with code from the staging directory. The puppet file specifies the modules and data that you want in each environment. The puppet file can specify what version of modules you want, how the modules and data are to be loaded, and where they are placed in the environment. A puppet file is a formatted text file that specifies the modules and data that you want brought into your control repo. Typically, a puppet file controls content such as modules from the forge, modules from Git repositories, data from Git repositories. For each environment that you wanted to manage content in, you need a puppet file. You'll create a base puppet file in your default environment usually production. As you create new branches based on your default branch, each environment inherits the space puppet file. You can then edit each environment's puppet file as needed. Because we are already using control repo so we manage the puppet file from control repo only. Now let's look at the slide to understand how code manager and puppet file helps to manage the different environments like prod and dev. So first you'll need to trigger Code Manager by hitting a web endpoint. You can do this either through a webhook or a custom script. Either way, you'll also need to set up authentication and create a custom URL. But webhook is the simplest way to trigger Code Manager. So let's say we have to deploy the dev environment first. So Code Manager will call GitHub for development environment and Puppet File will limit Code Manager to get only those module which are listed in Puppet File. The Puppet File specifies the modules and data that you want in each environment. As it will be different for each environment so in this way it control the module and data. 
and not everything get installed by default. So here we will manage the NTP, Tomcat, and Apache module through Puppet file in dev environment. Because we have to deploy the production environment too we need another branch as production. And Puppet file associated with production branch will control the modules and data. So here we will manage the Nginx and MOTD module in production environment. If we have noticed we are using the NTP module both for dev and prod environment. Because we are using branches with puppet file so manage the code. So it's easy to manage the different environments with puppet file and code manager. OK. So now we have the knowledge of code manager and puppet file so if you got some time feel free to move on to next lecture to add control repo and github.